Hello everybody, Josh Twell back here again with another video and I'm here to give you another Dragon Ball Super review. Yes, I'm here to review Dragon Ball Super episode 26. Now, of course, if you haven't seen this episode, please go check it out because this review might contain spoilers. But that being said, let's get into the first ever episode of Dragon Ball Super of 2016. Yes, this is the first episode return of Dragon Ball Super and man was it a doozy. It was... Well, to be quite frank, it was a major piece of shit. But with that being said, uh, before I continue with this review, I need to point out the obvious. If I sound very odd or somewhat troubling to anybody uh, who's viewing this review, keep in mind that I've been sick. I've been having the cold or the flu, if you will, for the past several weeks. Uh, mostly this week, if you will. So if I sound so weird in this review or any kind of videos I've done this week, that's pretty much why. I've kind of like getting over the flu and the cold or whatever. So that's pretty much what's going on. But with that being said and done, I was really looking forward to this episode. I mean, it's the first episode of 2016. And normally when there are episodes of Dragon Ball Super that I don't particularly like, specifically in this Frieza Saga arc, I pretty much made it publicly known that if there is an episode that I don't like, I really choose to. Ju I realistically want to choose to not acknowledge them, not watch them, and just not review them. You know, which is why you haven't really seen me review every single episode of the Resurrection F story arc. But with that being said, because this was the first episode of 2016, and because we're so close to the end of the Frieza arc, or as I like to call it, Frieza Saga 2.0. I decided just to review it, just for the, just for shits and giggles, if you will. But with that being said, this episode was terrible. I have to, I have to be quite honest with myself and with all of you viewers out there, that this episode, episode twenty six of Super, was quite frankly terrible. It was garbage. It was truly garbage, and it's really sad to say that because you know what? Let's put it out there. I'm a hardcore Dragon Ball fan. I'm a hardcore Dragon Ball Z fan. I love and respect Dragon Ball. Every single format of it. I love it. I respect it. I put all of my hopes and dreams into it. However, there are people out there who despise Dragon Ball, who despise Dragon Ball Z, who do not like the characters of Dragon Ball Z, who despise Goku and everything he stands for, and don't like anything about it. But with that being said and done, I completely, as a Dragon Ball fan, who respect, who has put in res hardcore respect, and a lot of love, and a lot of dedication into this, this freaking genre, into this specific series, I give them, you, the person who despises what I love more than anything else in the world, full on permission, if you will, privileged permission. To basically bash the living shit of Dragon Ball Super. If you so choose, I give you that permission to shit talk Dragon Ball Super. Because there is no respect I can give this episode. I mean, let's paraphrase the story real quick. Of course, it's the continuation of Goku and Frieza. It's Super Saiyan Blue Goku versus Golden Frieza. And quite frankly, it's just, it's just way too drawn out. I mean... Granted, we already knew this was coming. I mean, like, when you're going to take the movie, which is roughly just an hour to two hour movie, and try to make it into, like, a series of, like, every single episode is the same thing, done done again and again and again, it's, of course, going to be having, it, it's going to be drawn out, and it's going to have some pacing problems. But this episode takes it to a whole nother level. I mean, like, there are people who despise episode five of Super, or uh, particularly the episode where... Goku and Beerus fight for the first time. I don't remember exactly which episode that was, but specifically that fight. People will hate that episode and, and, and consider it the worst episode of Super because of its horrible animation and artwork and the horrible just problems that it has with it. The way it was formed and, and the way it was created. This episode takes it to another level of just shit. I mean, it's horribly made, it's horribly dubbed, it's horribly animated, and the artwork just sucks. There's not really anything right with this episode, at least from what I can see. There's nothing right with this episode. There's, quite frankly, nothing really in this episode I actually like. So, there you go. That's all I really can say about it. But, at the end of the day, I just wanted to point that out, that if there are people out there who watch my videos and are like, God, why do you like Dragon Ball? It's so stupid and shitty. It's, so, it's a piece of crap. Well, nothing can really change my aspect. 
in my personal beliefs or feelings towards the the entire the entirety of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. But say what you will about Dragon Ball Super, I actually don't even care because there are certain episodes that I cannot defend righteously. Defend this episode is one of them. It's just not that great. Now, why is that? The pacing. The pacing is horribly wrong. The animation is quite terrible. The artwork sucks. And I don't know if it's my specific computer or something, but doesn't anybody really notice when there are certain sections in the episode where Frieza talks, but there's no actual dubbing through his mouth flaps. He's talking in the, in the animation, but there's no actual dialogue coming out of his mouth. I don't know if anybody noticed that, but it's there. There's nothing coming out of his fucking mouth. Maybe that's the specific version of the episode I'm seeing on my fucking computer. But there's no fucking dialogue coming from the actor who does Frieza out of his fucking animated mouth. There's nothing. The the animation, it's just, it's almost like, it's almost like Toy Animation likes to hire and then fire every single animation director they have signed on for this series. Because every single episode is drastically different and deformed from the prior episode. I mean, this episode looks completely alien to the episode we saw prior, which I actually consider to be a pretty decent episode. But this episode is just horribly made, and just nothing makes any sense. And they take all the bad qualities of the Resurrection F movie and bring them back for the TV show, which makes no absolute sense. I mean, once again, Goku and Vegeta are bitching to each other as to who's going to fight next, and then there's the problems with Frieza defeating Goku, making everyone at home think, oh, Frieza might actually win when we know it's not going to happen. And of course, we get the classic Goku not taking this fight seriously, and then someone doing something behind the scenes, the Togoma Sorbet freaking side character that no one really cares about, or at least I don't really give a shit about, obviously using the Death Ring to shoot a hole through Goku, spoilers, and of course, defeating Goku. Yes, they brought back the ring. The one thing I really did not want them to bring back, they brought back. And all I can really say is, you stupid dumb fuck. Why did you do such a thing? I mean, yes, there's some stupid stuff in the movie, but man, that was the dumbest. And you brought it back? I mean, out of all the things to bring from the movie, you brought that back? I mean, at least you did something with Togoma. You made him Captain Ginyu, even though that was kind of worthless at its core. But at least it was different. You did the same fucking thing. Why? It just doesn't, I mean, like, I would have been cool if you did, like, a, a complete curveball and just copyrighted fucking Green Lantern Ring and put that in there or something. I don't know. At least that would have been a little bit more visually pleasing to the eye. That is just completely worthless. Especially when you know as, uh, that Vegeta is right there and he can transform to a Super Saiyan Blue at any time. Ugh, doesn't make any sense to me. And, of course, the Goku versus Frieza fight, the infamous... Goku versus Frieza fight really at it, at its core is worthless in the sense of like you know Goku's taking this completely unseriously he's not he's really just fighting just for the sake of fighting and there's large portions of this fight where Goku's just not fighting at all and he's just letting Frieza beat and just beat and tumble all over him and it just feels dumb. It almost makes the character of Goku dumb. Now, granted, Goku is not the smartest character in the world, but, or at least the smartest fictional character in the world, but he is a genuine genius when it comes to martial arts and fighting. But he does not fight smart in this show, and particularly this episode, and it just comes off as very cocky and very douchey, and just doesn't make any sense. I mean, like, there's a portion where he, the last five seconds is where Goku actually takes the fight seriously and starts beating the shit out of Frieza until obviously the, the stupid ass Sorbet death ring comes in and then completely ruins the episode if it wasn't already ruined, which based off my rant, it pretty much is. So, I don't know. I don't know. There's There, there was some portions where I liked this episode. Like, I feel like the best portions of this episode that were somewhat good has to be um, Chaco and Boma. I mean, like, I, I know I keep praising it, but man, is it hilarious to watch Boma and Chaco beat, you know, just bitch at each other and troll each other. It's just freaking hilarious. I want an entire spin off manga dedicated to the, the, the adventures of Boma and Chaco. I don't know why, I just do. And 
if there is anything else that was actually somewhat decent in this episode, I guess Beerus and Weiss? Beerus and Weiss were pretty hilarious in this episode too, but that was pretty much it. Everything else was completely insignificant, irrelevant, and pointless. The fight sucked. It was horribly treated. Didn't really have any kind of major effect. Once again, you could just watch the movie, and the movie would be completely superior in a, in a, in a bar that this show, and particularly this episode, does not really reach. And the animation sucked. The artwork sucked. It looked terrible. I mean, like, once again, it just feels like Toy Animation just hires and fires animation directors every fucking week. Oh my god, it just looked terrible. So, uh, I don't want to rant any further because I'm just starting to get a headache. And plus, I'm sick, so I don't want to continue. <laughs> I don't want to continuously annoy everybody. Which, I'm pretty sure I've already done for the past, like, 11 minutes. But I'm sorry, it's just true. Like, I, I really wanted to love this episode. I mean, it's the first episode of 2016 for Super. And we're getting this much closer to the end of the Frieza arc and the beginning of the Universe 6 arc. Which, of course, the manga has been destroying. I mean, the manga... If I had to be quite, you know, honest with everybody who's viewing this review, I, I say actually drop the series. Legitimately, you should actually... You know, in a realistic setting, you should actually drop the anime and just read the manga because the manga is actually far superior. I mean, granted, it's a companion series and it's mostly meant to be just like an outline or a source material to the anime considering they, they run at the same time and they don't really have any kind of major influence with one another. But man, is that manga so good. I mean, like, have you seen the tournament? Have you seen the fucking showdown going down? Shit, was that fucking great. That was some good stuff. I want to talk about that. I want to dedicate an entire review just to the manga now. I might actually do that. I might just actually start reviewing the manga instead of the anime. But damn it, I'm such I'm such a Dragon Ball whipped pig. I can't help it. I have to <laughs> I have to review Dragon Ball so because it's just in my nature as a Dragon Ball fan to review it just in general. But man, did this episode suck the big one? It did. It's and and there might be defenders out there who who re realistically and I respect and you know, they they might defend it, and that's cool and all, and they may even like this episode, and you, you might actually do so as well, but I just can't, this episode was terrible, I mean, in a large, in, in, in a large setting, this episode has to be at least the worst episode I've seen of Dragon Ball Super thus far, and that's saying a lot, we've seen some very good episodes from Dragon Ball Super, and some really bad ones, but this one definitely takes the cake, or at least is the cherry on top, because man, the ad, that animation... Whew, it was it was really bad. And the artwork, and the story, and the pacing, and the characterization, and the fight itself. And not to mention that voice dub. I mean, I don't know what happened. Like, why is there, like, sections where people were talking? Like, Frieza, I'm just saying, people, go back and watch this episode, and watch all of the parts with Frieza, and look very closely to the way his mouth flaps. He talks, but there's no dialogue coming out of his mouth. It's just, like, did they forget? Or are the voice director and animation director not talking to each other? It's almost like no one's involved with the process of making an actual good episode. It's like everybody's like, I do storyboards. I'm over here. I do animation. I'm over here. I'm voice directing. I'm over here. We have no connections with no one another. I mean, come on. We're in the fucking... We're in 2016. Has anybody not seen a Pixar movie? Fucking learn how to make a fucking animation, bitch. Sorry for ranting, but this is more of a rant than a review, but I've talked too long. I'm going to give you a final verdict for this episode. I'm giving it a solid 3 out of 10. Yes, a 3 out of 10. Man, I did not like this episode. There was a lot of bad in this episode. Was there good? Very minimal. Jocko, Boma, and Beerus and Weiss moments. Best of the episode so far, in my opinion. My subjective opinion. Everything else, not that great. You could just skip this episode and watch the movie, or might actually just skip it all and just like read the manga, the companion manga by Tarotaro, which is freaking great and really interesting and fun and entertain and, and very entertaining, which this episode is not. So, as much as I really hate myself more than anybody else, I really despise the fact that I'm bashing this, but man... For an episode that had a lot of expectations, or at least anticipation for me, personally, this did not live up to it at all. I mean, like, man, did it look like crap. And hell, based off the teaser for next week's episode, this the 
uh, or at least the next episode, it might be kind of shitty too. I mean, granted, we're going to see some Vegeta kicking ass, which is always cool, but I got the feeling they're just going to do what they did with this episode and just like follow the, the, the mistakes they did with the movie, which is like, okay, Goku, he loses his fight. He gets shot with the dumbass death ring. Okay, next week, Vegeta shows up. Super Saiyan Blue. Yeah! You know, kicking ass. He beats Frieza. And then, and then fucking he kicks his ass. But then, oh shit, Frieza blows up the earth. And then, you know, Whis reverses time or something. And then Goku defeats Frieza. Happy ending. Universe 6 time, yes! So I'm guessing that's basically how <laughs> the ending of the Frieza arc is going to go. Or Frieza 2.0 saga, as I like to call it. But, um... Let me know your personal thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, man, did this episode suck. I actually feel more... I feel actually kind of sad that I have to say that out loud, but it's very true. This episode was not good by any stretch of the imagination. And all I can really say is, is that... Really hope... I really, really hope that they really kick this fucking Universe 6 arc right up the ass. I really do. Because if they do shit like they've been doing with this fucking saga with the universe six stuff i'm gonna be very disappointed especially considering how good the manga's been man it's gonna be very it's gonna it's just gonna be very tormenting to know that they'd put this much cheap animation and horrible direction into that arc it would be very depressing to find that out but with that being said and done let me know what you personally thought in the comment section below did you like this episode or did you despise this episode as much as i did what are your personal thoughts on the first episode of dragon ball super of 2016 hope you guys enjoyed oh god man also real quick before i leave uh i wanted to mention real quick the new closing ending that we got now, I don't like it. I, I, I also, like... Man, I'm actually finding surprised as the more I continue the, with this rant slash review that I'm continuously bashing everything. But I'm also not really that big of a fan of the new closing ending um, animation for Dry Mall Super. I don't know why, but doesn't anybody kind of feel like it has more of like a Naruto fe feeling than an actual Dragon Ball feeling? I'm just saying, like, I don't know why they took away the, the last closing we had with... You know, all the characters at night, and then, like, the picnic stuff, and, you know, the, the driving sequence. Like, why did they take that out for this weird solo, roses, petal, falling, Goku looking at screen, thumbs up thing? I don't know why they did that. It just, it, it feels more, even more cheap. It, it almost made this entire episode even more cheap, even throughout. So, man, not a fan of this episode. Really not a fan of this episode. Let me know what you personally think in the comment section below. With that being said, shameless plug time. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. At John12. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully. And this has been John12.